The World Health Organization says the global risk from the new Omicron variant is very high and that it will likely lead to surges of COVID-19 cases. So far, there are no reported cases in Kebbo Land. As Tom Hansen reports, local health officials are keeping a close eye on any developments concerning the new variant. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. That cause for concern centers around how fast Omicron appears to be spreading and a number of mutations on the spike protein. The Omicron strain has been confirmed in at least 14 countries. Now, new travel restrictions have been announced from South Africa to the U.S. Avera's Dr. David Basil says there's still a lot we don't know, including how transmissible this variant is, how severe the illness is, and do the vaccines protect against it? They should protect, but they may not. And so we've got to get answers to those key questions, and we just don't have those answers today yet. What do you want people out there to know about this? Probably the most important thing is that still the key is getting the current level of Delta down as low as possible before any new variant shows up. You want to get Delta down as low as possible. And so it's still the keys are still what they've always been. You know, get your vaccine. Don't go out if you're sick. Get tested if you're at all sick, common cold symptoms, anything like that. That is still the key. South Dakota Secretary of Health Kim Malsom Risen says it could be up to two weeks before we have a better understanding of the impact of the Omicron variant. There's some talk um, from uh, the folks in South Africa that, you know, the, the illness has been relatively mild there. Um, but again, we need a little bit more time just to kind of figure things out. And in the meantime, you know, I really would encourage people to get their information from trusted resources. That could include the uh, South Dakota Department of Health and our website, uh, covid.sd.gov um, or the CDC. In the meantime, Malsom Risen says the vaccines are safe and urges everyone to get vaccinated, not only to protect themselves, but to slow the development of variants like Omicron. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. The Department of Health says that it's receiving updated information on the Omicron variant and will advise South Dakotans on appropriate measures. The CDC also updated its recommendations on booster shots, saying all adults should now get one.